So we've, we've ruled out four names. This is where now it gets tasty because I now want to just see if you agree with me. The three names that are left, Damien Priest, LA Knight and Logan Paul, are the three favourites for this match. They are indeed. Okay, so let's talk about them and then we'll make a prediction. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's do it in more of a fun way. Ranking them from third to third. So we'll start with a third. We'll both say at the same time and we'll say who we think the least favourite is to win it. Of those three. That's so hard. Bit, yeah, so we'll count it, we'll count it down. So just say a name at the same time and then we'll talk. Okay. Three, two, one. Logan Paul. LA Knight. Oh my God. <sighs> Why are you doing this to me? Right. Uh, this, is, this, this is not going to play into my prediction. I'm now thinking as if it's... Vince or Triple H. I think if Triple H got his way, I think there's a chance that Atlanta wins this match. If Vince is signing this off from the booking, you're going with favourites. Favourites is different to a prediction, so keep that in mind. LA Knight has got all, all of them have all the tools here. I, I that's that's just the thought process on favourites. I for I for the pure fact that Logan Paul has already had a wrestle he's had a, a main event match with Roman Reigns in Saudi Arabia I can't for the life of me understand why they would give him a money in the bank contract when he is not a concurrent wrestler on TV every week doesn't make sense for me I just cannot see it I like he wins the briefcase and then what we don't see the briefcase for three months is he going to do a Brock Lesnar and just come back occasionally with it I just I could not see it happening I think it would be an again my biggest gripe with the money in the letter the money in the bank match is that they always don't like take the briefcase and make a story arc out of it and for a guy that is essentially a spot monkey at this point because he comes in and just has viral moments him winning a briefcase just does absolutely nothing for me so here's why I think it can work and we've not done two and one yet but well, we're going on favourites and I'll go with prediction afterwards but why I think it makes sense for Logan Paul you said there the idea of him going away for three months at a time there are two Money in the Bank ladder matches and there is an opportunity of WWE then having to come up with the same storyline twice and this is why I think they get lazy and make someone cash in on the same night every time so they only have to worry about one briefcase if Logan Paul is flashing that thing around everywhere afterwards on Impulsive or wherever he's going with one of Jake Paul's boxing matches or somewhere oh God, he's got so a briefcase right. He's got a briefcase wherever he oh goes, my God. and he's on TV everywhere. It's the same as Bad Bunny with the twenty four seven championship. Oh my God, that you're so that right. thing doesn't <laughs> sound right at all. Uh, but uh, it's a case no, of but like, this, this, the context you're talking about is so right; it's unreal. And yeah, because the thing is, you generally will forget about Logan Paul until the night he cashes in, and then your fear factor really goes of: Is he going to win a world title? This is like this I was saying fear. with. Seth being champion next year when the, the, the that Marvel film, the Captain America film comes out, it makes sense to have him as champion because he's good. Do you know what I mean? WWE want the guy walking around, uh, oh yeah, I'm in this Marvel film, I'm WWE champion, whatever. Oh my God, you've, you've, you've you flip reversed it on me with Logan Paul. I can't believe I've fallen for this trap. It's, it's a scary oh my God, it, trap. It, it so actually is a reality, isn't it? It's a, it's a possibility. That's why I said it's one of the top. They're, they're all favourites. I see them all. Yeah. I, they're all too yeah, close yeah, to yeah. call for me. They're all too close to call. Yeah. But let's go with number two then, and that gives away number one. So who's who do you think is two then? LA Knight. I think Logan Paul is two. So let's talk about who we think is the favourite then. Damien Priest. Damien Priest. Damien Priest for me is the favourite of this match because of the fact that he was given such a big responsibility. He had to have this, um, what was it, a San Juan street fight with Bad Bunny at Backlash. The big show in Puerto Rico all sold around this one moment. And let's be fair, it was a 10 out of 10. If, you, if we're going baseball, he knocked it out of the park. It takes two to tango. It talks about how great Bad Bunny was. Bad Bunny was amazing in the match. But what about his dance partner? Was, yeah. His dance That's partner big. made him look like that as well. Priest took the fall on the night, did everything that needed to be done on that night. Priest has to get a thank you somewhere. And here's the other thing that makes me think the Priest is a favourite. And it's one of them little, little nuggets that WWE likes to do all the time. And they may do the same thing if he was to win the briefcase. Priest has been having matches and losing. He's been facing Cody Rhodes. He lost. He faced Seth Rollins. He lost. 
He's getting the, the no eventers. momentum. All these main eventers. Yeah, all these. Ma- he's been flirted in the idea of being in a main event. And then the idea is everyone goes, oh, but he's losing the match. He's losing that match. When's his moment going to come? Well, it's going to matter when it matters most. Money in the bank. And it goes back to that fantasy booking thing I had earlier on. The thing for Damien Priest is he wins when it counts. He got a number one contendership for the Judgment Day at some point for the tag team titles. Winning money in the bank is when it counts. He doesn't need to win them for six months until he cashes it in because he got that cash in. I think Damien Priest is the favorite of the three. The thing is, though, if, if we're going to be honest here, I, I had to talk about the reasons why LA Knight, I put a number three. Now I'm going to talk about the reasons why he's my number one. Because of the fact that, I'll be honest with you, my head tells me Damien Priest is winning this match. But yeah. I can't help it. I've been an LA Knight fan for the longest time, nearly a decade. The guy has got catchphrases. The guy is over like Rover. I've seen his clips with Chris Van Vietz. Uh, he said he realized in a, in a show in Detroit, followed with Pittsburgh, followed with New York. The reaction has just got bigger and better. He got put in with Bray Wyatt. And at the end of it, everyone was supposed to be talking about Bray Wyatt. They were talking about LA Knight. LA Knight was special. He's got the catchphrase. Like I said, let me talk to you. Yeah. You know, just yeah. literally, the, he's the mega star. You know, whose game is it? It's LA Knight's game. Every catchphrase, it is singing and ringing with every fan and there comes a point where everybody is invested and the thing is we talk about logan paul when he reaches for that briefcase everyone's gonna worry everyone's gonna be so it's gonna be like if dominic mysterio was in the match everyone's gonna be scared that he's gonna actually get the briefcase for the reasons i've explained by the way because everyone thinks well logan paul probably catch him and would win with damien priest it's a thing of like respect we understand it but damien priest although i like la knight is an old superstar there's still ways you can get Damien Priest there without the briefcase. LA Knight's different. LA Knight, you could argue, needs this briefcase because LA Knight is over right now, but he's been doing mid-card matches. He's had matches with uh, Rose with Xavier Woods. He's had now a little program with Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio. These are lower to mid-card matches. LA Knight wins that briefcase. And he's so over, by the way, right now. I've not said that already. He goes straight up the pecking order. He can go for any championship he wants. They've said any world title. We mentioned Carmelo Hayes being on TV. I wouldn't rule out the NXT championship either. It's never been done before. Not that that's necessarily what I want, want, by the way, either. But for me, LA Knight, it's not now or never. If LA Knight doesn't win this, it counts more how they book him after this because LA Knight does have trajectory as well. People are behind him. There is something there. But I think with him, if we're going with time-consuming, it it probably matters to him more than it matters to the other two. Uh, what are your thoughts on the pro then for LA Knight? Yeah, I mean, I think if you want to strike while the iron is hot, LA Knight yeah. is the absolute 100% right way to go. I mean, the guy, if they could just like, they need to almost find, like how Austin had the Austin 316 shirt, if they could find a bit of merchandise that would tie in perfectly with LA Knight, you'd have a number one seller in your hand. Mm. That's one it. of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why I don't think he's winning, unless he's got something. Unless you know something I don't know, possibly. I think that like he's not. He hasn't got that thing where they can turn around and go right. If he wins this, we're going to sell out X amount of these t-shirt because. He's so fan favorite at the minute. It's unreal. It's it's just a case of if some people are saying it's too soon since he come up. Yes. To be honest, he's been around for ages. He was fluffing about being Max Dupree for a little while, which do you know what I mean? I, again, one of the things you'll just never forgive Vince for. It's like you could see how over the guy was in NXT, and you ended up bringing him up and putting him as a manager of a bunch of male models. It didn't make sense. Mm. Luckily enough, we've forgotten about that. But you, you, the one key thing you've said there is time, and LA Knight is not getting any younger. No, no. but uh, to be fair though, um, AJ Styles came in 2016, was in his 40s, had true. a great it's four true. or five years. There is time to do I... it. I think for me the biggest problem is is that the champions are because it's LA Knight at the end of the day and I'm, we all pretty much know that that guy is not going to cash in for anything less than a world title. 
it's going to be a world championship or a undisputed universal championship. And he can't beat either of the guys at there. He's not ready for a Seth Rollins. He's definitely not ready for a Roman Reigns. I think if he was going to do it, it would probably be next year once Roman's lost, once the world championship has established itself as better, or it's been on someone who's had a bit of a run with it. But yeah. for me, is why I can't say it or not. I think it is just too soon. Fair enough. I think it's a fair point and a fair argument. Something that you mentioned there about something that's that could be missing, it could be a, a t-shirt seller. I don't know if anyone's written that in there now, but if you have, I'll give you the credit afterwards. But um, Dummy, which is one of his catchphrases from Impact Wrestling, he'd always follow that with the Dummy, yeah. And like it's almost like if you can get over like a what charm, literally like someone says something and you've got like Dummy, yeah. I think that potentially you could get it on the t-shirt. I think Ellen Knight has got a way of getting that over. It was one of, probably my least favorite catchphrase of his back in Impact Wrestling. But I think if he was to incorporate that into WWE, into its marketing today, I think you put that on a t-shirt and I think that, uh, yeah, you've, you've got something more in your hands there. And I think, uh, look, he, he is potential to be the megastar. And like I said to you, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with everybody. My head prediction is Damien Priest. That is really the prediction. But I'm going to say what the people want me to in say. In your heart. Because, yeah, in your because, heart. Because my heart wants that as well. So I'm going to say yeah. it at night. But yeah. I don't think he will. But I want him to win it. Yeah. I mean, for me, Damien Priest just makes, like, let's be honest, out of the three of them, Priest is probably the least favorite. If you were to just take an average fan who'd only been watching wrestling for maybe the last six months, mm. Priest is probably the least most notable one. Like, you've got Logan Paul, the viral superstar who's got X amount of millions of followers on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You've got LA Knight. Like I said, if you've been watching it casually for the last couple of months, you you know who LA Knight is because he's already made a name for himself. So Priest is kind of the outside favourite of the three. Only for the diehard fans that really know what Priest has been through. The Bad Bunny match and like the context. Like, do you know what I mean? We look at things a little bit more than just a casual fan. But yeah. for me, Priest going forward is just this it's this it makes more sense story wise i think there is a more interesting dynamic with priest how he wins it how this then plays into the judgment day his relationship with finn even po even possibly other things that i just like i said i think priest has built himself back up now to the point where he's now ready for that main event scene when it was taken away from him a couple of years ago when he was doing that split personality gimmick. I think now is the right time. Okay, hometown crowd is a bit... It's, it's not really the right place to call for it. But, like you said, look at the match he put on. Bad Bunny had a fantastic showing, but it was his dance partner. The, do you know what I mean? The, obviously, they choreographed it. To, like, do you know what I mean? They worked out the... They, they talked to each other. They worked it all out together. I think Damien Priest is due his moment. I think this is it. It is. I think it is as well. And I'm going to say that uh, I think, and this is going to be the last bit where I leave it off because they've said any world championship is available. Any any championship they can go for. We talked about Gunter earlier. I think he's the one defining Gunter. That's why I think it will wow. be. That's that's the that's wow. the early pick now. Uh, Tusa McCarthy is not sure if it's the right pick, but I'm going with my heart. Do go with the heart. It's always good to go with the heart. LA Knight there. Tiz Mikhail goes on to say, Logan doesn't need money in the bank. He literally got a world title match just from Thank tweeting. You. He is he is money in the Carl bank. He can be in any about. match uh, and feud they want without the briefcase. And to be fair, I think he wants a match with John Cena. So, I mean, perhaps maybe that can be something at SummerSlam. Temple Place says, Logan Paul to win money in the bank. To see to it, to cry about it. Vince, make it happen. And you know Vince would be the one to make it Absolutely. happen. And I must admit as well, there's something that made me think as well. Talk to Jonesy earlier on, right? Jonesy picks Logan Paul to, to win this, by the way. Um, I do actually think that they, they both have a good shout on it because, let's be fair, everyone qualified for the match. And then Logan Paul was kind of thrown into the match. It was almost as if, like, well, everyone's going to go for a mid-card title, so Logan can win the world title. So I, I, I do see where everyone's coming from it, and I, I, I think there's a lot of logic and sense of why Logan Paul I'm, would win this. I'm so angry that the fact that you've persuaded me that Logan Paul is honestly a realistic possibility for winning this now. The fact that you just turned around and said, imagine how viral a, tw a, a tweeted picture of him holding that briefcase would be. Yeah. It would be 
unreal and WWE would be gassed at that that is it's a it's a good possibility now I mean, to be fair, I don't know how much those briefcases sh- cost on WWEshop.com, but imagine how many people that will be buying them. They'll probably sell out. You know, it's, it's just... I, I don't want to use the LA Knight slogan because it might make me unpopular, but that's not an insult. It's just a fact of life. It's just... It is what it is. We can't get around it. Uh, at some point, you can't deny the reactions he's getting. Knight is already in his 40s. It's got to be now. And that's the thing. I understand. If it's not the briefcase, it's got to be now still, and they've got to book it right outside of it. The, the, like, I mean, we could just be, like... Have for as much as he's been saying, like, oh, I'm gonna win it and I've got the perfect opportunity to cash it in. This could be exactly like 2016 Money in the Bank when Dean Ambrose was giving us all the clues through the show that he was gonna win and cash in, and we just thought, nah, that's never gonna happen. It could, yeah. it's good, and I like that. Like you said, here, the, those videos on social media, it feels like the sign, it feels it, it could be there, it could be written in the stars. And to be fair, I do think London is going to be massively behind LA Night. I can see that he's going to oh, probably absolutely. have the biggest, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the biggest pop of the whole night, and that includes even the UK talent. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, what if Logan Paul was to cash on Seth Rick and Rollins successfully? He would become no, the world no. heavyweight champion. That's Why what would happen. Why? <laughs> It's been put into the world. Eric Douglas, I know you're a big Damien Priest fan. Is happy. Yes, Priest, the favourite. Let's go. Uh, Temple says, uh, Logan Paul wins the money, men's money in the back. Another match to open money bank. Cashes on Rollins on the same night just to see Twitter crumble. And let's be fair, Elon Musk would have a job on his hands because I think it really would crumble. Um, <laughs> this Usually I've got a good idea coming into these streams of who I'm going to pick for every match. Sometimes weeks in advance. This was one match that I couldn't oh. split between them three. Uh, even when you said to me, pick you i was like don't make me pick because i can't think of what why i was gonna go it was literally organically came out of my mouth and unfortunately i had to do again i'm a friends fan that's always been the way i had to do the joey game i had to clear my mind you know and had to do those things well you know what would you rather and there we go i went from there uh but yeah it's one of them things uh, Temple Place uh, says, my heart says LA Knight, but my gut says Logan Paul. Uh, Temple Place says no, Logan Paul. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Wins, you could do a swerve with LA Knight beating him for the briefcase down the line like Edge did with Mr. Kennedy. That's a fascinating idea. I like the sound of that. You have the big moment on LA, the night. LA Knight versus Logan Paul would be, from both sets of perspectives, from an outside and an inside perspective, would actually be quite a huge match. You think about it, Logan Paul who is the outside massive superstar versus LA Knight, who is the big in in wrestling, like big star. It, yeah, it actually would, makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. I'll tell you what, we're talking about LA Knight needs some momentum after this. That's the match LA Knight needs. That is the match. Yeah. Because yeah. when he did the line after, he said, you make videos for 14-year-old girls. Like, literally, like, that. those lines, if he can get that going out there, that can get into Austin Rock levels. That really can do in one program because... Everyone's going to hate Logan Paul. I wouldn't be surprised if we now see that at SummerSlam. Absolutely. Absolutely. And do you know what could be even more fun, Temple, if it was the other way around? That LA Knight wins the briefcase and Logan Paul goes to get the briefcase off of him. That could be an interesting way to go as well. 